laughed a lot with a gleam in his eyes. He was nobody's fool. Doted on his grandkids. He seemed to love his view. Take the harness off, rub them down with a toe sack. At the end of the day, every time he rolled over, that's another thousand dollars. Always hear him say, Lump at him grain, kept him in the dry. He took good care of his mule. Called the lines on the hay and talked to them like he would to me or you. He never mistreated them at all or allowed anyone else to. Didn't hook them up to anything who they couldn't move. If a rock weighed the log or he dug in the bank, Crossing a creek, he move it over, hard dig out around it, hook another mule with a double tree. Cut a sapling, say hook, when they leaned in the collar and the leather began to squeak. He lay that sapling, cross her hoop, holler out, come on, please. Long John's got stiff, couldn't get around. Some truck haul ties from the sawmill where they put them in tree or so. At first it seemed when Lom needed to stop down at the end of the road. He'd look at the use of brake, was stopped anyway. He'd holler out, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lum was a real straight talking, right square shooting, solid old found man. Figured stumpage in his head, signed his name with a neck, sealed the deal by shaking hand. When they stretched Lum out in the coffin with his white shirt and overhaul, I believe everybody knew he loved his mute and his grandkids most of all. When they stretched Lum out in the coffin with his white shirt and overhaul, I believe everybody knew he loved his beauty, grandkids most of all.